Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were doing several things actually. We gotta do some task for Koopa Koot, which involves doing some task for Merlovely. We also need to... What else? Oh yeah, walk circles around a tree. Before I do that though, I wanna talk to this guy in here again. Hmm? You don't have my soothing music anymore? But that means you found a singer who could sing the song? Oh, I see. What a beautiful story. I weep with joy. Oh, I've been struck by my musical muse yet again. To Toad Town I shall go to catch this diva show. I can't remember if he actually goes to Toad Town or not. Alright, next thing on the to-do list. Merlin said that I need to walk around a tree. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe some crazy dream? Well, okay. I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, there's a house with a whirling roof in a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. <laughs> a house with a whirling roof. As if that existed. Ha! I don't take dreams seriously. Generally, neither do I. There's been occasions where I thought maybe a dream meant something, but it always turned out not. Hey, I've been looking for you. I'm ready for another quiz. And more star pieces. Question, what's the name of the leader of the Red and Blue Goomba Brothers? Dr. Goomba, Big Goom, Goomba King. I can't remember if there is a time limit for choosing the answer. I feel like there would be though, considering there's a little clock sound going on. So you probably can't take the time to look these answers up. Also, there's a sign here that I didn't know was here. Stone cactus in the desert. Twice south, once east you go. Give up to the twister where blue cacti grow. Upon the mesa, the power of the dervish you'll know. Not entirely sure what a dervish is. Unless they mean like a dust devil. Or the little pillar where that would be leading to. It's talking about how to get to the spin attack badge. Anyway, back to Koopa Koot's mission, which involves doing another thing. My older sister? More lovely? What's she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh ho. Okay, okay. Please give this to Mer Lovely, with love from her sis Merly. Interesting naming convention convention they got here. Like, imagine if we had a pair of brothers. One was named Robert, and the other was named Rob. Anyway, got this. And while I'm here, I'm going to refresh this spell, because I've not seen it trigger in a while. I feel like it's supposed to tell you when it wears out. In fact, maybe it did and I didn't notice. In any case, a recharge is definitely in order. Alright, from here we need to head back to Merlovely. Give her this crystal ball so we can get her autograph for Koopa Koot. And along the way, I guess I'll go ahead and do that stomping in the ground thing. Maddie Raditus says dervish, as in a whirling dervish. 
commonly used to describe a bladed warrior whose attacks carry them in a spinning motion, preferencing how that badge is one of the ones that affects Mario's spin dash. Oh! It is definitely a useful thing to have, especially coming up in the next chapter. Alright. Huh? Oh, this badge is quick change. Oh, yes. Yes? Um, yes. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are a very lucky man. You should put that badge on. Yes. So this allows me to change my party member, and it does not cost a turn to change my party member in battle. So that's nice. By the way, random fact, that badge will always land away from Mario. Even if you try to predict where it will land, it will instead land on the opposite side of the room. Believe me, I tried. Oh boy, uh... I'll hold off on that badge for the moment. How much does it cost again? Four. Yeah, I'll hold off on that for the moment. After my next level up, I'll equip it. Hi there, but I'm Kuhn! Welcome to my stream. I am currently performing some tasks for Koopa Koot before we head into Shy Guy's toy box. Ah, my my. Hello there, Mario. Same message as before. Hey, by the way, remember you put me on this mission? Oh, mercy. Thank you. I'll cherish this. Yeah, I suppose it would be a nice crystal ball to have compared to your triangle there. And for you, here is my autograph, as promised. It'll be valuable someday. Cool. And with that... I don't have enough badges for the next badge I want yet. So, back to Koopa Koot. Random thing I want to mention, by the way, you can outrun some of your party members by spin dashing. Not the flying ones, though. Only the ones who are on the ground. Although it's kind of hard to tell whenever we're running towards the camera, but trust me, I am slowly leaving Goombario in the dust. Okay, got a couple of things to do now that we're coming back to Koopa Village, by the way. First, let's deal with Koopa Koot again. Jumping Jungle Fuzzies! You're peerless, Mario! My word! Good gracious! Oh, oh my. What beautiful handwriting. Be still, my heart. Uh, that is, this will be the heart of my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time, I'll give you this as a special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Alright, cool. What is it? Alright, three more star pieces. Uh, that's enough for my next badge, but I have no reason to go back there quite yet, so I won't. What's next? I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days. And as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way for me to catch up, no? Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You could tell me the news then. My eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare the juicy gossip, either. I'm all ears. Hurry up if you can. I'm losing touch here. Promise you me you will? Alright, sure. We'll take care of that in a moment, but first I need to head off in this direction for a couple things. First... Another star piece. And some more letter delivering. How 
are things, Mario? Going swimmingly, I hope. You're Coover, correct? Name's Paracary, here's a letter. Your job's never done. Eventually will be. But not for a while. Hey, thanks! You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. Well, my dad fishes, but I'm not a fan myself. And to think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town port. He's easy to find. Thanks again! Uh, we'll get to him eventually. I also have a letter for this Toad. Which, by the way, always throws me off for some reason. A letter to Morty in Koopa Village. I always come to this village looking for a Koopa to give it to because, of course, it's Koopa Village. But then I realize his name is Mort T, as in Mort Toad. You're Mort T, correct? Yep. A letter? For me? Oh, it's for my wife. How sweet. I love her so. <sighs> oh, pardon me. I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine, she's so cute. She makes me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? Alright. So that takes care of that. Now, let's see here. Oh! I'm going the wrong way. There's something else I wanted to do while I was here. Good thing I remembered. I want to head outside of town for a couple things. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me check my inventory here. Oh, I got plenty of room. So now that we have the ability to stomp, there's a couple star pieces I can get out here. One is right here. Also, I totally did not notice this honey syrup back here before. And the other star piece panel is right this way. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fight this guy in order to get to it. Because otherwise, he'll just annoy me the whole time. Thankfully, he's a pretty simple enemy to deal with. Of course, since these are old enemies, I don't get any experience for them. Kinda think of it, if I had a certain badge equipped, I could've killed him on the map since he's so weak. Ah well, wasn't a big deal. Alright, now we're ready to progress on forward dish to another task. Let's see here. What was my thing on my to-do list again? All right, I need to read the Toad Town news. So we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick. Always check for C Chuck Quizmo. You never know when he's gonna be hidden in the right here. All right, cool. Alright, what color are Luigi's pants? Hmm, tricky question depending on what game you're playing, but in this game, they're blue. The easy way to figure that out is Mario's pants are blue. So that's eight of these down. Making some progress with those. Like I said, I've never actually successfully completed all of Chuck Quizmo's quizzes, so I honestly don't know what some of the questions are. 
Granted, I can't really remember what the current questions are either. It's not that like I had them memorized. Except for one. The one question I had memorized was how many windows are on Goombario's house? Have we had that question yet? Actually, I don't think we've had that question yet. By the way, that question is coming eventually. Alright, Toe Town News. Shy Guy Invasion. Robbing rogues run rough... rough that word. A squad of squareless shy guys has beset Toe Town, leaving our fair citizens in a daze. The thefts are too numerous to name here, but suffice it to say, residents are urged to guard their possessions. It's still unclear where the shy guys are hiding out. We'll post news as it breaks. And... Righteous Message Corner. How many Koopa Troopas have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful. Anonymous Koopa. To be fair, the Koopa Troopas were largely attacking Mario. Mario doesn't attack the friendly ones. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Oh, hold on. Wrong way. Also, missed opportunity to throw up that foreshadowing message on screen. Just pretend that, that I did that. Creeping Crazy Daisies. You're poor, pure class, Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world. I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so. And like I said, it's not the first time the place has been invaded by Shy Guys. Depending on which timeline you're looking at, anyway. It's nice to catch up on the current lingo. I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately. Now, I'm hip. I need to take this for helping me. Cool. Coin. Alright, next. I've been ailing a bit lately. I'd like to get a life shroom. You know, to have on hand just in case of an emergency. I must have one. I must! Please, please find one for me. You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry. I'm not feeling well at all. You promise to return? I don't know, do live streams really help like that? Oh, by the musty shroom. You're a peach, Mario. Oh, I see what you did there. I feel ten times better and twenty years younger. Maybe I'll go jog. After my nap. Here, take this as thanks. Alright, cool. Another coin. Hey, by the way, have you been going to the playroom? I found this old thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look. A gold credit. They gave this to me at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Right. Because you're a frequent visitor. That's totally the reason they gave it to you. Good luck. Make money. <laughs> Alright, what's next on the to-do list? Oh, here we go. I do have this sudden craving for one of Tasty's scrumptious nutty cakes. The secret ingredient is the goom nut, which grows on certain trees. If memory serves, which it doesn't always, you can find them near someone's house. I don't know if that helps, but you still have to find one so Tasty can pick the cake. I'm getting pretty famished, actually. Would you hurry up? Promise? I can't make that promise because I can't do that right now. Uh, because I failed to check ahead of time what all the Koopa Koot quests are. I had a nutty cake before, but I already used it. And I can't make another because Tasty's frying pan has been stolen. So I guess that means that's the end of the Koopa Koot quest for the time being. Oh well, we got a new thing anyway. Let's head on to the playroom and play some more games.
Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to the smash attack floor. Alright, and while you're at it, go ahead and just leave that open for everybody to be able to use. Hello, Mario. This is the floor for Smash Attack. Let me explain the rules to you, okay? When the game starts, blocks will appear along the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You clear the game if you get ten of these peach panels before time runs out. If you hit a block where a fuzzy or bob is hiding, it'll slow you down a bit. The time limit is 30 seconds. You'll need ten coins to play. Would you like to try it? Okay, so I'm gonna want to keep in mind that as I play this game, the peach panels will randomly spring out to show me where they are, so gotta keep an eye for them. Ready to get 10 peach panels? Get set to... Smash... Attack! There's one. Oh. And this doesn't help. That doesn't help either. Did I just see one up here? I think I did. And then another here. Four more. Where's another? Two more. Darn it. I came close. I'll try one more time. I can get it. I did it on my practice run. But on my practice run, I also didn't get hit by two fuzzies. Oh boy, this is lucky. This is very lucky. Alright, where's that last one? There it is! Hooray! Wow, that was, that was some sprinting there, Mario. Why can't you run that fast normally? Game clear! The remaining time is 7.9, so... well, you get 79 coins! Please come again. Hey, I came out of this ahead. I'm done. Okay, next on my to-do list. Um, right, we're ready to move this way now. Let's start by talking to you, I think? Or did I already talk to you? Seems like all the shy guys come from west of here, wish we could find out where they come from. Oh yeah, you're the Rep Scallions guy. I'm positive that the Shy Guys are coming from somewhere in Toe Town. But where? Where could they be hiding around here? Unless I miss my guess, they must be in the house. Dig me? I dig you. I tried to chase the Shy Guys, but I fell and lost their trail. I was real busy holding my toe and streaking. Um, okay. But I think maybe they went to the port. Well, I guess that's where we'll try it out then. And while we're here, we got ma mail to deliver. Huh? Blimey! Little Wiggler's gone! Where'd that fuzzy peed go? A fish took him, perhaps? Curse me, foul luck. Address to a person fishing at the port. Ah, this must be you. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can't deliver letters like that in reality. I'm pretty sure if you try, they just go return to sender. Name's Paracary, etc. Hmm? What's this then? Shiver me timbers! Word from Coover. Musty said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip! You should come along, Mario. Yar, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. 
Could you deliver this to him? Him? Why, the Koopa Trippa who asked you to bring this letter to me. Coover's the name. Yar, and take good care for the love of fishes. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. This is a port. Welcome. Excuse me? Shy guys? Oh, yes, shy guys. We sometimes see them at the port, but they usually behave themselves. They come from the east. Who knows why they come here? Not this way, then. Hey, do you see something floating over there? See what I'm talking about? Well, if you go straight and walk onto the pier, you'll be able to see it. It bothers me for some reason. I think I just saw it move. Oh? Well, what do we got talking about here? Huh. That is indeed a thing. Is it actually going to move, though? I don't see it moving. I'm trying not to blink, just in case. No, I don't think it's moving. That fish in the background is distracting, though. Hello, Mario. I heard you braved Forever Forest recently. I got lost in Forever Forest a long time ago. I wandered around and around in circles for a good while, utterly lost. Then at last, I came to a mysterious mansion. It was there I met a boo by the name of Bootler. This Bootler used to travel the world having adventures with a pair of his friends, a Goomba and a Koopa Troopa. We spoke of many things, he and I. He even told me of his undying love for the mistress of the mansion. There was a little girl boo there then, the granddaughter of the mansion's mistress. She was headstrong and very spoiled. Still, she was cute. I wonder how she's doing now. She must be beautiful. In case you're wondering, having Bo out during that conversation doesn't do anything. So Maddie is running off to do his own stream. Okay, Maddie. Hey, just FYI, in a little bit, I'm going to be fighting Anti Guy. That'll be something. For the moment, though, we're going on to our next episode break. And when we come back, we're going to try to figure out where this Shy Guy toy box really is. <laughs>